All right, so now we are going to start to combine our background fabrics with our uh, jelly roll strip squares uh, that we just made. Now, the way to do this particular quilt is to have it, um, you know, alternating between having the strips going uh, vertical versus having some of them going horizontal. So it's key when you're squaring, when you're um, sewing these squares together that you're kind of alternating so that, you know, you square, I mean, sorry, you sew one going this way and then sew the next one going this way. That way they're constantly alternating throughout the pattern. Um, Cause if you can kind of tell in the picture, you know, see they've got some going sideways and then other ones going this way. And that kind of will help give this nice little alternating kind of random effect throughout the quilt. And I think it'll look really nice when you um, kind of change it up that way. So just something to be mindful when you're sewing these squares that you're alternating them as much as possible. Um, so now what we're gonna do is start sewing these and I'm going to show you both methods because if you remember from the first video, we drew lines on these background fabrics two different ways. We did one where it was just one line going straight down the middle in a diagonal line and then we did another one that was a quarter inch off of the middle um, on two different lines. So we'll sew the first one using the diagonal down the middle and I'm going to go ahead and do my strips going um, uh, vertical. So we're going to use it like that. We're going to put these down just like that. So we're going to put the squares on top of each other with the right sides facing each other. So the design sides facing each other and you just want to try to square that up the best that you can. And then we're going to come over to our sewing machine and I am using a quarter inch foot on my sewing machine. And if you have one of these, then you know that the um, there's a little tab kind of on the side of the foot here. And I'm gonna use that as my guide to go down this diagonal line. So I'm going to put that right underneath my little tab, put my uh, foot down here, and then I'm just gonna sew. So I'm sewing a quarter inch off of this line using my quarter inch foot and keeping that quarter inch foot tab straight on my line here, okay? Try to keep it as straight as you possibly can. And then normally I would, if I had a bunch of these squares, I would just keep chain piecing and keep going until all of my squares were done on one side and then I would take them out and then I would flip it over. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm flipping it over now uh, so you can see how you do it. So same thing. You're just gonna line up that quarter inch foot tab on, on that line there and put your foot down and then go ahead and start to sew. All right, so now as you can see, I now have two lines a quarter inch away from my diagonal line there. So if I flip it over, you can see the blue. I'm using two colored threads so that way, hopefully you can see those lines a little bit better than if I used a white thread. Uh, so there's two lines there that are off, a quarter inch off from the middle uh, section of this. And then what you'll end up doing is you'll end up cutting diagonally down the middle so then it'll split off and you'll have two squares that'll look something like that. All right, so let me show you now the other one. And since this one we went with the lines going vertical, I'm now gonna switch it so they're going horizontally this way. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing. Take my background fabric and I'm gonna put it on top of my square. Make sure that the edges are all lined up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to line up my needle with the lines that I drew on here. So instead of using my quarter inch foot, I'm gonna use the line I drew as my guide for my needle as I sew. Again, try to keep it as straight as possible. Okay, and again, I would chain piece this, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna flip it over and we're gonna go down the other side. Just like that. And there you go. So same same idea, you still have the two lines going down the sides and then you're gonna end up cutting straight down the middle. And now when you open it up, that's how you have your squares. So you'll see the difference. You've got 
two different squares going different ways. Okay. All right. So get those squares all sewed together and then um, go ahead and cut them down the middle. I think you guys can handle that. Uh, you're just going to make sure you line up your ruler so that the ruler goes straight down the middle here with the corners meeting and then just cut straight down across. And then you're going to fold each square open and iron it open like that. Make sure you iron towards the, um, the dark side of the fabric, okay? And then I will see you in the next video.